There's only two ways to influence human behavior. You can either manipulate people or you can inspire people. I call it the golden circle. And it's three concentric circles, a bullseye. In the middle is why, the center ring is how, and the outside ring is what. Why, how, what. It's this little idea that distinguishes those with the capacity to inspire versus everyone else. Let me define the terms really quickly. Every single organization on the planet knows what they do. These are the products you sell, the services you offer. Everyone here knows what they do. Some know how they do it, whether you call it your differentiating value proposition, your USP, your proprietary process. These are the things that you think make you different or special or stand out from the competition, from everyone else. But very, very few people and very, few, very, very few organizations can clearly articulate why they do what they do. And by why, I don't mean to make money, that's a result. By why, I mean what's your purpose, what's your cause, what's your belief? Why does your organization exist? Do we really need another company to do what you're doing? Do we really need another one? Why did you get out of bed this morning? And why should anyone care? As a result, the way we think, the way we act, the way we communicate is from the outside in. It's obvious. We go from the clearest thing to the fuzziest thing. We tell people what we do. We tell them how we're different or how we're better or how we're special. And we expect some sort of behavior, a vote, a purchase, a support, whatever it is. But not those leaders with the capacity to inspire. Regardless of their size, regardless of their industry, every single one of them thinks, acts, and communicates from the inside out. Let me give you an example. I use Apple frequently just because they're easy to understand and we all get it. If Apple were like everyone else, a piece of communication would sound like this. We make great computers. They're beautifully designed, simple to use, and user friendly. Want to buy one? Meh. That's normal. Here's our new car. It's got you know, great gas mileage, leather seats, tinted windows. Here's our law firm. We went uh, to all the best schools. We've got all the best lawyers. We win all of our cases. We work with all of the biggest firms. This is normal. Here's how Apple actually communicates. They start with why. Everything we do, they say, we believe in challenging the status quo. We believe in thinking differently. The way we challenge the status quo is by making our products beautifully designed, simple to use, and user-friendly. We just happen to make great computers. Want to buy one? It actually feels different. All I did was reverse the order of the information. What it starts to show us is that it's not what you do that matters, it's why you do it. And what you do simply serves as the tangible proof of what you believe. People don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. This is the reason why every single person in this room is perfectly comfortable with the idea that Apple sells computers. We're also perfectly comfortable with the idea that Apple sells MP3 players and phones and DVRs. Apple is just a company. That's all they are. It's a corporate structure. Every single one of their competitors has equal and open access to the same resources, the same agencies, the same con consultants, the same talent, the same media. It is a zero-sum game. The difference is all of their competitors have defined themselves by what they do. We make computers. Apple has defined themselves by why they exist. To challenge the status quo, to give an individual the opportunity to stand up to Big Brother and choose a simple alternative. Everything they say and everything they do simply serves as proof. Dell makes perfectly good products. They're every little bit qualified to make every single product that Apple makes. And a few years ago, they tried. A few years ago, Dell came out with MP3 players and PDAs, and nobody bought one. Doesn't make sense. Why would we buy an MP3 player from a computer company? But we do it every day, because it's not what you do that matters, it's why you do it. And people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it.